no longer can have those friends that you used to have when you were single, when you were in a committed relationship. Having friends of the sex that you are attracted to is extremely dangerous in a relationship. It's that goddamn simple. Before we get into it, I want you to reflect on the older, more mature people, more successful people, more happy people in your goddamn life and think, do their mans have best girlfriends while they're married with kids? Do they? Do they? Really? Do they? Mm. Do the happiest people in relationships have best guy friends and best girlfriends or super close to them of the opposite sex or the sex they're attracted to? Is it really platonic when they do? Hi, guys. My name is Eden Middleman, and today I am going to be offending a lot of people. And I know you're all going to be in my fucking comments writing Bibles and paragraphs about how, oh, that's not true, or that means you're insecure, or not always, or I grew up with my family friend who's a guy, and I'm attracted to men, and you're going to go off. I want you to listen to this video with an open mind. And if you're not a shady motherfucker, and if you're not like mm, sexting and trying to fuck your best friend while you're in a relationship, then this will resonate and you'll understand and you'll take something from it. But if not, you are a guilty little liar. Let's start with the idea of what platonic friendships are. There is no sexual tension. You have not fucked them. You do not think of fucking them. You've never thought of fucking them. And you would never fuck them. If they were the last man or woman on earth, you would literally wholeheartedly swear to God that you would not fuck them. You cannot promise that, so therefore, they're not really true platonic friends. When you are in a relationship, the dynamic of your friendships change. You now have to prioritize your significant other. You now have to also place specific strict boundaries amongst the people that you might have been attracted to, that you might have had a past with, that you might have been friendly with, that you might have gone out with and done stupid shit with. It's obvious, right? This is not something new. However, a lot of people struggle with having friends or allowing their partner or not allowing their partner to have friends. How do I maneuver this? How do I navigate this without being unhealthy? The reality is there will be men and women that walk around this earth that will be around your significant other or that you'll be around, okay? You talk to somebody at the coffee shop, you're, they're taking your order. It's a guy, it's a girl. You will be interacting with men and women. It's not like you are not allowed to. It's not like you cannot still have those friends, but boundaries, strict, tight, well-respected boundaries need to be in place. And I will tell you right now that when you start dating somebody and your best friend that's a girl and you're a guy, let's say, mm, Stacy and whatever, if she catches a fucking attitude, she was never your friend. If you start placing boundaries when you're in a healthy, happy relationship and you're happy, your real friend will be happy for you and will be happy to abide by your boundaries and won't be like, wait, what about me? What about bitch? Shut up. Because if you started dating somebody, you wouldn't want his best girlfriend to be all up in his fucking phone, would you? No, you wouldn't. So it's really funny how a lot of you guys out here become that friend that try to test boundaries because of your own insecurities. Let's be real here, all right? If you're messaging a guy that's taken or a girl that's taken, there's a special place in goddamn hell for you. And you know why you're doing it because you want attention and oh, we used to be friends or bitch, shit changes, all right? His girlfriend's more important than you are. Appreciate that, respect that. Be happy for your friend if he's really your friend. The only reason why girls and guys act this way is because they want attention. These friends that are girls will suddenly come back into your life or friends that are boys that suddenly come back into your life when you're in a relationship. All they're doing is trying to jeopardize the relationship while trying to get attention from you. And they get some sort of high or validation being like, oh my God, he's still going to message me and be cute and flirty with me while he has a girlfriend. Like, obviously I'm better than her. Obviously this, obviously that. This is a subconscious inner thinking working situation station that is happening internally to a lot of these people, but they will never come out and say that. Guys, I want I want us all to be real right now. Like put down this wall. You're alone. It's just me and you. This is a safe space. All right. Ain't nobody going to know. What is the truth here? Have you not done that? Have you not been like, oh, he still talks to me while he's taken? Have you not done that? Yeah, it's a terrible thing to do. It's an insecure, jaded, traumatized, sad little girl behavior, sad little boy behavior. But tell me that didn't make you feel special. So when we all act stupid and play dumb and pretend like, no, um, that's not my would never. No, it's not what it is. Or no, uh, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I want to talk about boundaries here, right? Boundaries doesn't mean that fuck off. You're no longer my friend. It's hey, not going to message you in the middle of the night. Hey, not going to respond to your text messages or hey, my 
girlfriend or boyfriend will be involved in the messages that we are going back and forth on, right? There's not much privacy anymore when it comes to me and your friendship or relationship because we are of the same sex that we're attracted to. We probably have a history. We probably have looked at each other in a romantic light internally, mentally. Maybe we've even spoken about it. And I'm not going to jeopardize my relationship over somebody who's supposed to be my friend and supposed to be rooting me on and respecting my boundaries and hoping that my relationship succeeds, right? If your friends become obstacles in your relationship, they are not your friends. Now, I know that there are so many situations, circumstances you guys are probably thinking about like, well, what if my partner isn't really healthy and they're turning my friends against them? Okay, I'm not talking about those extreme motherfucking psychopaths. Pick who you date, man. It's all on you. If you feel like your partner is being unhealthy and unreasonable, then you got to fix that. You got to do something about that. I'm talking about your partner is just like a real good person. You're happy with them. You want to succeed, but you have issues with this whole friend dynamic and you don't know how to maneuver it or navigate it. Or your partner is doing this and you don't know how to go about dealing with this. There needs to be boundaries and you need to speak on that with your partner. You as the person who has this friend, these friends, okay, you need to show your partner the messages without being asked. This builds trust. This builds transparency and confidence in either maintaining these friendships and keeping them, you know, on good terms through and through, making sure your partner's good with it, all that stuff. It's keeping everyone in the loop so that there is no surprises so that one day somebody doesn't say, oh, I messaged him last night or I didn't know you guys were dating or whatever, or something like that, something through the grapevine that makes you look bad. When you don't tell somebody something, even if you're not guilty, you end up looking guilty. You end up ruining something that didn't have to be ruined. So cover your bases and be smart. Every time you get a message from a man or a woman or whatever it is, you tell your partner, send a screenshot, make a joke about it, be like, oh my God, LOL, what are we responding to her? What are we saying to her? Or talking about it. Does your partner know who these friends that are girls or friends that are boys are? Have you introduced them to each other? If not, red flag. If not, shady as fuck. If not, it's a must do if you still want to keep them on good terms. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend should know your best friend if you guys are dating and if they really are your best friend and there's really nothing to hide. If you have not introduced them, if you are not open and transparent, you do not deserve to be keeping contact with these friends because you clearly don't know how to create healthy dynamics on both ends here. The boundaries look like this. If this girl or this guy is messaging you in the middle of the night, you first and foremost, before you respond and before you do anything, you tell your partner what is going on and involve them and ask them how we are handling it as a team collectively. If that friend wants to hang out one-on-one, -on -one, it's a no-go, bro. Would you hang out with another girl one-on-one? -on -one? No, that looks shady and incriminating. Would you hang out with a guy one-on-one? -on -one? No, that looks shady and incriminating. Even if there's nothing going on, guys, if your partner walked into a bar or into a lounge or into the room that you and your friend are in, would they be happy with what they see? No context. Would they be happy with what they see? This is how you should behave in a relationship. Would my partner be proud of me right now? Is this what they would want? Why am I hiding making plans with this person one-on-one? -on -one? Why am I scared to tell them about this? Because you secretly know it's wrong. Not secretly. You inevitably know it's wrong. It's obvious it's wrong. You just, for whatever reason, want to entertain your friend in that way, which makes you the problem. There is no such thing as going on little one-on-one -on -one dates. It's a group thing or it's a not a thing. I'm going to give you guys some personal shit. I have plenty of guy friends. I grew up with guys. As you guys know, I relate more to guys than I do to girls. My personality, guys just respect it more. Girls have a hard time dealing with me sometimes. I get it. It is what it is. So inevitably, over the years, I've actually accumulated a wider group of guy friends than I have girlfriends. The minute I'm in a relationship, I don't have to tell these friends because they're real ride or die friends. I don't got to tell these friends to keep their space or distance. I don't reach out to them and they are aware I'm dating because they see it. They know it. They know about it and they keep their space. And if they ever message me, they say, yo, bring blank, bring your man. Let's meet up. Let's br bring your man. Tell him to bring his friends. Like, let's all meet up, whatever. They never, ever will cross the line. And if they do, I know they're not my friend and I place a boundary. I don't respond. I send it to my man or I say not, not cool, not appropriate or I'm seeing someone just so you know. I make it very straight to the point. I don't care if I offend them because if they're real friends, they'd respect me and they'd understand placing boundaries and not being mean. I don't have friends that are children. I don't have friends that are emotionally unintelligent or stupid, to be honest. So I don't have this problem. But when I hear that other people have this problem, I'm like, all right, either your friends are dumb or you're dumb. So think twice. Be smart. 
don't pull that argument of, oh, you know, she just wants my advice. Nah, bitch, she can go to her girls for advice because they'll give better advice. She wants a male perspective. Go find another guy friend then who is single where it's appropriate to talk about dating and love and sex and things like that. Fuck off. Guys, the reality is, is when we want advice, we don't go to some random guy or a guy friend. We go to our girls to really let loose girl to girl. Right. So when a girl goes to a guy, it's low key and attention seeking thing. I said what I said. You can disagree with me. You could be the exception to the rule, bitch. But we all got to act like we're not the exception to the rule because that's risky waters because that's not always true because the chances are that you are the exception to the rules. Very slim to none. Have there been friendships that make sense that work while you're in a relationship? Absolutely. But you know why it makes sense? Because there's boundaries because the significant other met the person and they all have a friendship and relationship and the friend doesn't message the significant other. All right. Or the partner privately at inappropriate times about inappropriate things. Right. If you can't show your partner the text messages between your alleged, alleged best friend, we've got a problem, don't we? It's important to have conversations with your partners about boundaries and where you stand on these things. You know, even watch this video together and send it to them and be like, what are your thoughts and feelings on this? You know, it's been weighing heavy on me and I really genuinely want to have like just a discussion back and forth. No yelling, no arguing. Just want to let you know where I stand. It's not about arguing who's right or who's wrong. It's about how I feel because in your past relationship, it might have been great and cool and you guys all fucking had friends and all fucked each other and everything was laddie and everything was wonderful. But in this relationship, it's a little bit serious, a little bit more maybe, different. Maybe. You know, people's views change or maybe you're dating somebody entirely different which you probably are uh, obviously duh so things are gonna be fucking different so you need to respect your partner i've been in a position situation where the guy I was dating had a bunch of friends that were girls from his past half of them he fucked if not all of them or there was some sort of sexual tension or they obviously still have a thing for him and they knew i was dating him and suddenly those girls wouldn't like the photos of us on instagram right but they would like all his pictures but when it came to me they wouldn't like pictures of me with him on his social media, number one. Number two, they would invite him out at weird hours of the night, but they would never mention to bring your girlfriend. They would never ask to see me or meet me. Half of those girls have alleged boyfriends, but would go out with other guys. These are all red flags. This is not a real friend, okay? Girls, if they are real good girls or real good guys, they're gonna be like, yo, yo, I don't wanna hang out with you and make shit weird. I want your partner right there to see what's going on. I don't want to cause no friction. I don't want to cause issues. It is what it is. I want to meet your girl because she's a part of your life. And I really like you're my good friend, allegedly. So I, wa I really want to meet your girlfriend. I want to be close to your girlfriend. I want to be friends. That's a real fucking friend. Your friend has issues with your girl and she's never met her. Bro, she's into you. She's a snake. She wants your attention. That's just what it is. You can lie to yourself, but you know, and that's why you want them around because you like the attention from other girls. And I'm going to ask you guys one hard hitting question that is going to boil your blood because I guarantee you some of you have actually done this. When you get into a fight with your significant other and you happen to have a best guy friend or a best girlfriend, whichever sex you are attracted to, who do you run to when you're having issues with your significant other? Because it's convenient. That person. So let's say, and I, you know, this has happened in my past when I was a little bitch, okay, when I was not healed, when I had zero brain cells and I was going through it and I just wanted attention. When I got into a fight with my man, I would run to my best guy friend. What would happen? We would text. He would help me through my hard times. It would then become sexting and flirting. And maybe we'd meet up. And if I broke up with my man, he'd be the first guy I fucked. That's what a best guy friend or girlfriend is. And you know it. And you know it. So that's, that's why if your partner is arguing to have this like girlfriend or guy friend around so hard and so much is because they don't want to lose that potential. They don't want to lose that option or opportunity. Right. It's the same thing with if they're following 17,000 naked girls on Instagram or naked boys on Instagram. And you're like, bro, like get a fucking grip with your life. This is embarrassing for you, let alone our relationship. And they're like, no, 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 it, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to hurt their feelings, bro. If you are not willing to hurt, hurt. If they're your friends, it, it wouldn't hurt them. They would respect you and understand that. But if you're not willing to, quote unquote, hurt other people, other women's, you know, feelings or other men's feelings to protect your partner, they really aren't that important to you. In fact, you could even argue that that friend or those Instagram girls or Instagram boys are more important than your significant other. And if that's the case... Get out of your relationship and leave that poor person alone. Because when you commit to somebody, you commit to them. 
They become a priority, okay? I'm talking serious relationships. I'm not talking none of you young ass, stupid kids out here who want to have a girlfriend for a month or a boyfriend for a month and then move on to somebody else. I'm talking somebody that you're trying to build a future with. Your right. friends that are girls from childhood just because you've known them longer. You're not planning on having kids with them, are you? You're not planning on building a life with them, are you? So prioritize who you're going to fucking live the rest of your life with and act accordingly. Doesn't mean be a dick. It means put boundaries down. And if there is resistance, then be a dick and cut those bitches off. To be honest with you, you shouldn't have to ask for this. You shouldn't. But a lot of people have been in relationships where shit's wishy-washy. Nobody talks about boundaries. Nobody communicates. So we go around just doing whatever the fuck we please. Low key, deep down inside, and this is my problem with people, you know it's wrong, but you still do it because you're greedy. Talk about this with your partner. Have these discussions about it. Be honest with what makes you feel what way. What you're open to, what you're not open to. What's a hard no and what's a hard yes. And then if your partner acts differently after that, they chose to do that. There is no excuse, oh, I didn't know. Now you know. This was a hot, heavy rant. I went full throttle. I did not hold back. I told it like it is, like I always fucking do. Thank you guys for watching and for listening to this. You can agree or disagree. This is what I believe. This is what I've seen time and time again, not just with my relationships, but with literally every relationship I've ever analyzed, worked with, my friends' relationships, etc. There needs to be cutthroat boundaries there for things to work out and full transparency in all areas of a relationship, if I'm being honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts and feelings. We don't need to fight fire with fire, baby. All right? Just let me know what's good. Let me know if you watch it with your partner. Let me know what your deal is. Let me know what's worked and what hasn't worked for you. Share with the community. It's so important for us to all talk about our experiences in a healthy manner. Hit the bell for the notification so you don't miss any other fucking fire that i post and don't forget to rate this podcast five large and in charge stars download the podcast subscribe to the podcast do what you got to do show me love it means so much to me and i will see you back here very soon have the bestest fucking day and fuck those dumbass friends okay bye